Hey guys, Chris here from Kite Republic, here to introduce the new Sensor 3 Bar with the only man who can claim that he works in bar concepts. This is Rick Jensen and a bit of an Aussie connection being on the uh, the Nash team with you and back in the day as well. True so. that, we had a good time together. Yeah. Um, mate, awesome, absolutely schmeck looking bar this year and uh, something you no doubt have a, a lot of pride in. Can you uh, talk us through uh, what are we looking at? Sure, sure. Yeah, like the goal um, in the beginning of the development was keeping the DNA of the old Sensor 2 bar mm -hmm. and just bringing in really nice ergonomic with simplicity. Yep. So looking at the bar, it still has the titanium core yep. inside, so it's really stiff and light at the same time. Yep. And then looking further here, the grip has a new embossing, so it's way more grip, but it really locks in your hand. Okay. And we extended that towards uh, the end caps. Mm -hmm. And you, as you can see, also the geometry comparing to before is all round smoothly. So yeah, no matter, absolutely. You can grab everywhere where you want. Yeah, not going to have any fingers caught, any of this, any no, of that. No, it's just no more pain. perfectly <laughs> rounded. Nice. Yeah. And yeah, looking on that, or this geometry, different to, to other bars. Yeah, And you sure. might wonder where you wind up your lines. But you easily just open that up. So you have two different modes for your bar. Yeah. Like storage mode. And if it gets on the water, just click it in. And, and we've, obviously, ready to go. Uh, we've obviously been testing these non-stop for three, three or so days now over here. And, you know, I, I saw it and initially I thought, geez, can that really, you know, withstand coming down hard or anything yeah. else? I have not seen or heard or anything in discussions about yeah, like one of these coming testing was open. opening it up and throwing it on concrete. Yeah, yeah. Like, and so, at last. But, like, I mean, the, the thing doesn't even, like, it's, you know, it takes a little bit, but it's yeah. super clean and it seems absolutely spot on. So... Nice bar concept work, And it's mate. replaceable, like everything on the bar. It's also yep. like looking up here, we call it a live wire. Yep. So um, for the best feedback of your kite uh, mm -hmm. while steering. And, and by that you mean, because a lot of bars will have like a big thick, um, you know, big thick sort of foam that, yeah. that comes through here. Yeah. Whereas you're talking about this little area here that's just got complete flexibility. Yeah, and that, like also like if it's big foam, like if it's breaking your whole bar is fucked. <laughs> but here you can just, pull your floater off yep. and everything is replaceable. Perfect. Also then what's on here for changing the width of the bar, you open your winder, then press on top of here, Yep. push it out here, turn it around, click it back in and you have yeah, a short bar. Beautiful. Yeah. Yep. In terms of color coding and the rest, core have obviously got the, the yellow to the left is the recommended yep. that they do and on the, if you flip it over there I saw yeah, that's a massive it, red line. Yeah, we, before it was just a stop, just extended that with a red line. <laughs> so if it's the wrong way around, you just see red, turn it and then yep. be on the right spot again. And when we talk about turning, like our core bar has like two lines going through the middle. Mm -hmm. They're separated and then combined with the ceramic bearing you will never have uh, twist Front lines. Line, no just twist. How to untwist. Awesome. And now, probably for me, when I looked at this, I saw this, I saw that looked absolutely, you know, completely clean, all the rest. But the biggest thing for me was there's no more rotor. No nope. more rotor nope. safety. So. No. Nope. Yeah. Like, there were many reasons to get also, um, go also to a push out release. Yep. Like the color is red now. So, um, yeah, everything that's relate to security or, or safety yep has red color and you just push it out it opens up mm -hmm. and for assembling it you just need to click it in perfect and Easy if you that. weren't watching carefully then there was no pushing up of this there was no having to do all of that like there was no actual reload it no was just like before it's like always like uh, yep. i'll do that do Basically that but just then just click it seat in belt style yeah. just straight in i love seat belts yeah <laughs> <laughs> Safety first. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. And now in terms of the loops themselves, so yeah, I believe you can that see the large one and small version. And then next to that, there's also one for the slider ropes. You can easily untouch it with a screw. Perfect. And who would you recommend going to each? Obviously, you got your wave. Well, or wave your foil riding, or slider rope for foiling as well. It's just nice to have more movement in your upper body. Yep. And um, have 
the hose system as close to your body as possible so you can reach the longest deep power. Yep. Same with a standard loop. Also good for, for reaching uh, or like shorter arms. And do you know uh, yet when people are looking to purchase them, um, what's the name of them going to be? So that's it's, obviously your slider. This rope is a standard it's rope called, slider yep. and large loop. Perfect. So the large so loop. The large one is for unhooking. Yep. For unhooking, uh, we also do have this u side mode. Just have this ring, the combo yep. ring. Click this in there as well. Perfect. And then you can easily so unhook. Your optional sort of yeah. and the card is just suicide. depowering if you let it go. Yep. And ready to relaunch. And then, as we know from the sensor two bar, we do have a pro version of all those bars, and the pro version comes with carbon parts. So that's why this is all black because it's more stiff yep. and stable, and also the lines are out of titanium. It's barrier lines, so you mm -hmm. can individual choose wh which line lengths you want to have. Yep. The bar comes in three different lengths, 50, 45 and 40 centimeters. <laughs> Here we see the shortest version. Um, yeah, this is like recommended for wake styling. Yep. Or even I use it like if I go surfing with a five meter kite. Yeah, anything have super small. small. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, I'd say uh, in terms of cleanliness, in terms of design, in terms of bits being able to be fixed quickly, from everything we've seen, it's, it's an absolute standout. So um, very much looking forward to seeing everyone's feedback on these. Thank you very much to Rick Jensen for talking us through it. And uh, if you'd like more information on any of the core products, hit us up, kiterepublic.com.au. And we'll see you on the water, guys. Cheers.